Now, moving over to the situation in Crimea, the Ukrainian government is making preparations to evacuate its troops from Crimea after more Ukrainian bases were taken over by Russian forces on Wednesday. Western leaders say they will slap even more sanctions on Moscow if Russian forces encroach further into eastern Ukraine. Our Shin Zemin reports. The head of Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council told reporters in Kiev Wednesday that Ukraine was planning to relocate 25,000 service personnel and families from the region, effectively surrendering the disputed territory. His comments came after pro-Russian forces stormed two naval bases in Crimea on Wednesday night and raised a Russian flag. These were just the latest in a series of takeovers by Russian troops and local self-defense forces using a mixture of attrition and threats. The attacks on the bases in Crimea came as the United States and Europe sought ways to increase pressure on defined Russia. Speaking from the former Soviet Republic of Lithuania Wednesday, U.S. Vice President Joe Biden declared that the U.S. was absolutely committed to defending its allies. I want to make it clear. We stand resolutely with our Baltic allies in support of Ukrainian people and against Russian aggression. As long as Russia continues on this dark path, they will face increasing political and economic isolation. The Obama administration and its allies said Wednesday that they're working to devise new and tougher economic penalties to stop Russian President Vladimir Putin from moving forces further into Ukraine's eastern territory. U.N. Secretary General Pan Ki-moon will also meet Putin in Moscow on Thursday to seek a way out of the conflict. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.